This is the assignment for Introduction to Barbara Frecci, the story that we'll be reading tomorrow. You will need a piece of lined paper, as you see here. You'll also want to have your icon sheet, as we will do a few things on that. And you might also want to have your big red literature book as well. So I'm looking on page 106. This is where they talk about uh, Barbara Frecci and sort of the introduction for it. At the top there it says, Literacy, Literary Focus, A Character's Character. Oh, you know, let me back up a second. Your standard, make sure you have your standard, this is to be able to analyze character motivations from different historical eras. So and in this particular era is from the Civil War. We'll get to that in a little bit. Literary focus, a character's character. How a person reacts to a challenge can be considered a test of character. We're gonna actually go ahead and put a star here and write character. This comes about when a person reacts most often reacts to a challenge. I'm going to continue reading. In that sentence, the word, the word character means a person's essential quality or personality. This is a person's essential quality. Or personality. It's not a complete sentence, so I'll just put that, that, that. A person's character can be described as kind, self-centered, outgoing, honest, brave, selfish, and so on. In the following poem, see what the character Barbara Frecci reveals about her character when she decides to be different from the crowd. Examples, kind, brave, selfish, honest, etc. Reading skills, paraphrasing, saying it your own way. Let's write that word down. Paraphrasing. Paraphrasing means restating a writer's text in your own words. A paraphrase differs from a summary, which retells only the most important point points. Different from summary, which tells important points. Look to example on page 106 for more. They take the, the first four words of the um, poem. I'll go ahead and read them now. Up from the meadows, rich with corn, clear in the cool September morn, the clustered spires of Frederick stand, green walled with the, by the hills of Maryland. And here, the church spires of Frederick rise up from the cornfields, clear in the September morn. The spires are surrounded by the green hills of Maryland. And that's the... Uh, the uh, example paraphrase that's been given for the first four lines. Anyway, the big thing about paraphrasing is you take the exact words um, and you put those exact words into your own words, and that's paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is a really, really handy skill, so you're not plagiarizing 
information, stealing somebody else's information. Um, I'm going to do background really quick before I give you the quick write prompt. Just so you know what's going on here. Background. Barbara Frecci is set during the Civil War. In 1862, after defeating Union forces at the Second Battle of Bull Run, Confederate troops moved north into Maryland. Led by Generals Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson, the troops marched into the town of Frederick. Lee and his men were expecting a warm welcome, but the people of Frederick were loyal to the Union. Whittier based Barbara Frecci on these events. And there's some um, discussion about whether these are actual real events or not. Um, you can make your own um, decisions and interpretations about that. Okay, lastly on this one, your quick write. Many of the people we admire most, we most admire, and think of as heroes have had to stand up for their beliefs. Use a chart like the one that follows to make a list of some of these individuals. You may want to brainstorm names with your classmates. If you don't have time for that, you can brainstorm them with your, your siblings or uh, your family, your parents, something like that. Anyway, you're going to choose, um, I'm going to have you choose two people. You're going to write their name here. Here's one, here's two. And what they did, their action. Remember, these can be anybody, people that you know or people that you don't know, maybe somebody in history. Name, action, and then their belief. Okay. Secondly, so that's it. That's all you would do for that. Just a quick write. One, two. Secondly, you want to take out your icon sheet and take some notes down. The standard remains the same. Make sure you have your heading. We're doing Barbara Frecci. The author is John Greenleaf Whittier. This is a narrative poem or ballad. It tells a story with rhyming couplets direct speech, repetition, simple language, old-fashioned words, archaism, dramatic events, or tone. And the two poetic details, the two devices I'm giving you, are rhyming couplets and archaism. Please make sure you have those two sheets with you for tomorrow um, filled out with the purple that I filled out in addition to your, your quick write. Good luck.